Another cop falsifying documents, falsifying charges, traffic stop reports. Okay, let me take you to Missouri. Missouri State Highway Trooper faces 12 misdemeanor charges for falsifying information regarding traffic stops according to court documents. Now they undercharged this guy. They did not charge him with what they should have showing the protection of the system for the cop. All right, Sergeant Zachary Zanowski of Montgomery City faces a total of 12 counts of purposely violating provisions of chapter 590 regarding peace officers. 10 of those charges are in Montgomery County. The other two are in Cooper County. The probable cause statement from Montgomery County says Zernowski told another member of the highway patrol he had been uh, he had been counseled by a supervisor for stopping a disproportionate amount of minorities when compared to the demographics of the area in which he worked. So that's your groundwork, right? That's your foundation. They have told him now, now damn it, Sarge. You pulling over too many black folk for the population that you patrol. The document says this cop then falsified 10 reports between August 10th, 2021 and December 8th, 2021, December 18th, 2021. In seven of those incidents, he stopped a black male and conducted a search of their vehicle, but, but reported no search, search was conducted, he lied. In the other three incidents, he stopped a black male, but listed the driver's race as white. He lied again to cover his ass. The probable cause statement from Cooper County says on March 10th, 2021 and June 8th, 2021, this trooper stopped a black male and conducted a search, but reported he conducted no such thing. The document also says that both incidents in Cooper County occurred while the trooper was on duty and acting in an official capacity for the Missouri State Highway Patrol. Now they have scrubbed this guy's picture from everything on the internet. They have just taken it down, not connected to the department, not connected to the state troopers agency. But here's what we have, anytime they play hide the pickle, anytime they play those games, we got a game for them. Let's put up his lieutenant, direct supervisor, Mr. Lieutenant Eric Brown. He says that the trooper has been placed on administrative leave, I'm sure with pay. <coughs> also, Colonel Eric T. Olson, who oversees the entire Missouri State Highway Patrol. Those are the people in charge, the buck stops with them. Now, you gotta think about this. If he falsified documents, if he created false testimony, false affidavits, he swore to facts that were not true. That means he committed a felony. You know what that felony is? Violation of oath of office. They did not charge him with that. They decided to let it go. Do you see? These are the things. This was easy. And I'm sure there's more. They caught him on 12. There's some more. Fair thoughts. You know, this is just another one of those instances where you see the systemic racism. This man was very clearly targeting black men because yes. he thought, of course, I'm gonna be able to bust them on something. That's why he performed the searches of the vehicle. And of course, when he found nothing, he falsifies it and says, nope, didn't search them, just routine traffic stop, no harm, no foul for anybody. Well, no, there is, you had an idea based on how somebody looked about what you would find in the vehicle about something that may be illegal. And that is absolutely the kind of mentality that that leads to all of the other horrible stories we hear and watch now with, with camera footage, yep. these police doing. You know, <clears throat> as you said, this guy's on administrative leave, probably still getting paid. Mm -hmm. And if he hadn't already been busted for this, or if he goes back to the force, this may be an individual that we end up talking about again in the future on video doing something far worse because of how we know he feels about this particular group of individuals driving around his city. You know, this kind of behavior escalates. It doesn't get better on its own. 
He's shown us who he is. You know, these superior officers are showing us who they are at this point too. And we have to take that seriously. We have to get these kinds of police officers off our streets before there's a body count to go with their inherent racism. That's absolutely correct. And they are such trusted entities in government. And I don't mean trust as far as trust equity. I mean trust as far as what the law will allow them to do. They carry a gun. They have the right to stop you, pull you over, okay? If someone in city government falsified official government documents, do you think they would be on paid administrative leave? 